Um, I am not positive why in this camera that my face looks like it's 47,000 different colors of brown. It looks like I have freckles and like age spots. I'm scared to death. I'm scared to death. Anyways, we're going to ignore that. I mean, I do have some breakouts, but I don't, I don't know what's going on with this camera actually i really don't i have no idea i have two very important things to let you guys know before we hop into today's video one whenever you're watching this video my jewelry collection with length of label which i have an entire video on um has restocked it sold out the first time we restocked it for you all we launched a little bit before christmas people love their pieces they are hypoallergenic tarnish proof waterproof etc all the things either gold plated with 14 karat gold or gold field um, I wear these pieces all the time. They're just things that I absolutely love and everyone always comments and compliments me on my jewelry and it's just a collection that I'm really proud of for one. For two, it's just the perfect everyday staples that you would need in your wardrobe or in your jewelry collection to have everything you need. So we cover the bases with necklaces, rings, um, earrings, and then bracelets. And this is, if you've ever watched my channel or you've ever seen me, if you know me, etc., you know that I'm a big jewelry girl. I always have a lot on and it's just, I'm not leaving the house without jewelry, if we're being honest with each other. So we have the bracelets restocked. If you want to watch that video, I can have it linked down below. We have all these bracelets restocked as well. The um, beta bracelets as well as the Figaro chain. We have the Figaro with the pendant on it, the cross necklace you all always ask me about. This C necklace is not, this is another one of my big questions is where's my C necklace from? It is not from, um, the collection is just a necklace that I had made off of a seller on Etsy. It's a diamond necklace. So I can either link my exact necklace down below or I can give you guys some cheaper alternatives because it was it was pretty pricey. I think it was around like $350, something like that. Um, so I can get you guys some cheaper alternatives. We have the earrings, these earrings, and these earrings. I just wore a bit chunkier um, today, but I'll have everything linked down below for you guys. Then the other note of business is this. So I'm launching two new shades well i guess let me turn it this way so you guys can see two new shades of the fawn beauty recovery and glow lip oil we have the shade you're done you're done and then we have the shade perfect so i wanted to have fun new shades for summer for one spring and summer and then for two i wanted to i don't know just like come out with a new product i mean do i have to have like a do i have to have a reason for that no so anyway here is the two shades i wish that the the camera would pick up like the actual vibrancy of these shades because they are hot like this is hot, hot pink and this is purple, but good news, they have barely any tint at all. So this may look a little bit overwhelming to have a purple limp, a purple tint on your lips, but I will show you guys. So this is the shade you're done. And it smells, oh, also, side note, it smells absolutely phenomenal. This one is scented like um, mixed berries is the actual like scent name of it. And then the other one is um, strawberry or watermelon, sorry. Like it smells like a strawberry watermelon though. So this is the purple one. This is the shade you're done. As you can see, like it pretty much just provides you with a really pretty glow and like glossy shine to the lips. It doesn't give you that much of a purple hue or hint or anything like that. I mean, it has like a little subtle subtlety to it, but it's not anything wild. And then this is the pink one, as you guys can see. She's, she's bright. She has a little bit more of a color, but it's still not like anything overwhelming because they are a lip oil formula. So I mix the two, I wear them, they smell phenomenal. But without further ado, let's get into today's video. Everything will be linked down below as always, and let's get into it. Okay, I've not been a very um, diligent girl on my SPF train. I have been in Florida, like I'm sure you guys have seen in all my videos. But if you haven't, I've been in Florida, and I'm pretty sure that's like what's been going on. I actually got a um, a diamond glow. I'm about to hiccup. <laughs> I got a diamond glow facial on like a few days ago, Friday. Yeah, I got it on Friday. And today is Monday. So over the weekend, I kind of let my skin heal. And basically what it is, is like they use a diamond tip and go in and physically exfoliate your skin. And it literally hurts so bad. I don't think I'll ever do it again, to be honest with you. And I've had microneedling like multiple times. And I would definitely get microneedling again. They um, numb you for that. But I was not numbed for for the uh, whatever it's called, the hydrocofacial. And it was, it was not the vibe. I'm going to be honest with you. It was not the vibe. So anyway, that's that. I had that done and that's why my face is like looking the way that it is. So anyway, I forgot to even say what I was doing. This is the Paula's Choice Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense um, SPF. So this is that one. It has SPF 30 with antioxidants and resveratrol. 
and basically you just need to wear, be wearing SPF every day but I'm praying into the cool iron because I've been wearing my SPF and I'm just putting it on with this refer 19 brush um, I'm not a big like I don't like to rub this into my skin with my fingers if I have active breakouts to be honest with you and that hydro or that diamond glow facial really just she caused some skin irritation I'm not gonna sit here and lie to nobody like I never ever ever have cystic this is just a scab but I mean clearly she's she's been through some things um but like I never have cystic pimples and I have one on my chin that my made my entire chin sore and I'm like what's the reason for your behavior you know like why are we why is this going on so that's that I also think today I'm going to use a little bit of foundation I think I'm probably going to use my house labs foundation you guys know that I love this one I don't know if it's going to be my correct shade or not because I am tan but I have some other shades to play around with if if you know if you, I just dumped all my brushes out boo I'm going to take that same brush actually and go in with my foundation I think it is going to be a little bit light but we can we can darken it up if necessary and I'm just going to go over the outer perimeter of my face and what I like to do whenever I use foundation if I'm wanting to cover something up or like I could use my concealer today and I still probably will but if I just want a nice base layer I like to go in with a lighter layer of foundation as you can see that already even my skin tone really the main issue is I don't have that much texture it's just my skin tone is incredibly uneven at the moment and I think that has a lot to do with the facial that I got and I'm just I'm really not a fan to be honest with you it was painful and it was I even like filmed everything like I well I didn't film me getting the facial because apparently I was late that was a whole nother story but anyways I filmed like the aftercare or the after part of it and it was janky I'm gonna be honest it was janky I was like I don't I don't like this okay to provide me with some more color because I'm looking a little pale compared to my actual you know skin tone I'm going to go in with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Concealer. This is one of my favorite concealer of all time for um, concealing, obviously, but also to provide some more color back into my face. And then one of the tips that I like to do if you are going for more of a full coverage look or if you need more coverage in specific areas is to do like a light base like I just did. So I didn't do full coverage everywhere, right? Like I just didn't as far as the foundation goes. But what I'm doing for concealer is just adding that back in where I need it because it's still gonna give you the look of very light makeup because it is light you're working in very light layers but you're still getting that coverage in the specific areas you need it look how good that lip oil looks like it just gives you no lines no wrinkles no anything in your lips it looks so nice I'm using that same brush and just lightly going over everything also one of my things is like obviously I have a scab you know what I mean? So, like, I know that that scab is not going to be fully covered. Like, that's not my goal. You can still see my freckles on my nose here. It's not that big of a deal. But overall, my complexion looks 100 times better now that I have evened it out. And just, you know, getting a little more, a little TLC. A little something, a little something extra. Also, you guys know one of my favorite brushes of all time is the Mario Makeup by Mario F1. Is this the F1? Pretty sure it is. The uh, the name came off this, but the dual ended. I even told you guys like I'm not a dual ended brush girl. Like I just normally hate them. I'm like no, like no. But this one, <laughs> she's delicious to say the least. Moving on, I'm gonna be using two products that I really don't use all that much. I used this one for a little while and I wasn't crazy about it. Same for both of these, but I'm gonna try them again and then if I don't like them, I'm gonna give you guys you know other options. Um, but this is the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. This is in the shade Medium. And then I have the Rare Beauty, um, I don't know what this is called. Just the bronzer stick that they have. This is what it looks like on the end. It's just like a really creamy formula, etc. So, we're going to be trying those again. I need to wash my brushes. I don't think that I've ever washed these brushes, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest with you. I need to go in jail for that. Go away. Go. Anyway. I need to go to jail for that was what I was trying to say, but I'm really not sure what, what came out of my mouth or what was going on there. Also, I think to bronze up my face, I am going to use this a tiny bit because, actually no, I'm not. I'm going to wait. I was going to say I'm going to use this, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to be patient. And I'm going to go in with the uh, Mario one first. I'm going to use it on this Morphe and Ariel and the, this is the A58. I was about to say in the shade. There's no, there's no shade. No Tino shade. 
and I'm just gonna stand, wait a minute, we have a problem. We have a problem. Um, this is a little too light for my current skin tone. So we'll use a little bit of this since we already have put it everywhere. And then I'm gonna go in with the Rare Beauty because it is darker. I have this one in the shade Always Sunny. And I know a lot of people like aren't big on drawing it on. Honestly, I'm not either, but I guess it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Also, y'all mark my words. Whenever I'm in New York, I will be going to the Rare Beauty events that they always have in New York. They're like Samantha Nicole and Dara Leviathan. Is that how you say her last name? Leviathan? Leviathan? I don't know how, how to say her last name, but that everybody always goes to and they meet Selena Gomez. And I'm like, you know what I'm sick of? Not meeting Selena Gomez. Not being invited to the Rare Beauty event. So, Rare Beauty, let me know when you want me there. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just more so into somebody that you stamp the product in the brush or you stamp your brush in the product and then put it on. Yeah, I'm just not, like, crazy about it, to be honest with you. So, we tried. We came, we saw, we conquered, we tried. We're leaving without either one of those products, really. I just, maybe I'm using them wrong. I don't know, but I've been doing my makeup for 20, actually, I guess I haven't really been doing my makeup for 20 years. I guess I've been doing my makeup for, like, 15 years. And I don't really necessarily want to relearn how to do or like how to use specific products if the products I have work really well for my specific techniques. You know what I mean? Also, did you guys see that Elf is coming out with like all the Charlotte Tilbury dupes that one could possibly think of or fathom? I literally laughed. And I'm not a big like dupe person. Like it is what it is, you know? But they're like fully coming for the brand of like Charlotte Tilbury. I just, my, my voice cracked. But I was trying to say they're coming for the brand of Charlotte Tilbury. Like... Coming for the throats, actually. Also, I did wash my sponge. And if you guys don't have these sponges, well, you should be in jail, to be honest with you. Because they are so, so good. They're so inexpensive. I've had beauty blenders and the Real Technique sponges and, like, all the things. And these are by far the best sponges, the best blending sponges that one can have. Truly. My face looks so much worse on camera than it does in real life. Okay, I'm going to go in with my blush in the shade Happy. You already know that I'm using Happy. I do think that I will run out of this blush this year just because I use it anytime that I do my makeup. And even if I'm not doing my makeup, but I'm like going somewhere and I want to look a little bit more put together, you know, I always gravitate towards that blush and I always pull it out and use it. So I get a little, a little color on my face. I love this brush too. This is the e.l.f. Duo Complexion Brush. Everyone always asks me about this. I never use this end, ever. But this for stippling your brush, blush in, phenomenal. A tip that I learned from Brielle, my friend and makeup artist, is to put the br blush on your forehead as well because that's an area that the sun hits you so it just looks really natural and pretty. Kind of ties everything together and looks monochromatic. Because everybody always thinks to put bronzer there, but, you know, blush also has those sun-kissed hues and tones. So... I don't know if you picked it up on it or not yet, but I have not put on any concealer and I haven't really been using concealer. I've been using the Rare Beauty Under Eye Brightener in the shade Light Medium. Honestly, I don't know if Selena like came into this brand and said, yes, I'll put my name on it or like, you know, whatever she said. But either way, whether she came up with the concept for a lot of these products or not, I don't know. I don't really care to be honest because... Whoever is coming up with them is a daggum genius. And I use this F1 to blend it out as well. And it just looks so beautiful and seamless under the eye. Look at that. Like, no creasing, no crepiness, no anything. I'll show you guys in real time what it looks like blending out. I just stipple it in. That's that. It's stunning. Okay, so now that I have that on, I'm gonna do a little bit of powder brush. What? Powder bronzer. This is the one I'm gonna use. This is the Charlotte Tilbury powder bronzer. The Sunkiss Beautiful Skin powder bronzer. I have mine in the shade medium. Yeah, two medium. And sometimes I like to use this on my Charlotte Tilbury brush, the big fluffy one for bronzer. Sometimes if I'm going a little bit lighter, I like this, this one, the Araceli, Ara Kelly. I don't 
I'm really not positive. I was sent this in PR, but it's just like a really light, fluffy brush. It's not that dense. You just kind of pat and swirl and, you know, that's that. I'm also going to set, now this is obviously for like a higher coverage makeup routine. This is not for um, my lighter days. So if I'm using cream and powder, I'm using light layers so that I can build those layers up and they will last because if you're using just cream, it's not going to last as long, obviously. I really need to wash my blush brush. Um, anyways, for blush though, you guys, you can, you know that Charlotte Tilbury, Charlotte Tilbury ecstasy is, uh, she's my ride or die. She's been through some things, literally. Um, and I just swish and pop on my cheeks and bring it up into my hairline, hit everywhere that the sun would. And then I'm going to go over top of that because I do love a blush moment with this makeup by Mario in the shade poppy pink. Look how pretty that is. It's just such a pretty shade. And I'm going to do the same thing, dip it in. And then this one, I like to focus a little bit higher on my cheekbones and under the eyes because it just gives a really brightening effect. You guys know that I like to do this with Persona Cosmetics Bubble as well, but this one's a little bit more pigmented and it's just really pretty. I love it. So beautiful, stunning, amazing. Now we can move on to eyes. You guys probably know if you've watched my channel before, I'm not much of a big eyeshadow gal. Like I'm just, I'm, I'm just not, it's not my personal journey. However, there are some tricks, techniques, and tips that I use that give me a really monochromatic look that I love. So one of them is taking whatever shade bronzer that I use and putting it in my crease. And I just take this Morphe A11 brush and start blending in windshield wiper motions back and forth just to give me a little bit of color and definition in my eye. Because especially if you're wearing a little bit more makeup than you normally would or something like that, and then you have nothing on your eyes, it's not necessarily gonna look weird, but a little bit off balance or not as good as it could, you know? And we want it looking as good as it can. Also a really good idea is using color theory if you are into it or if you're not into it and don't know what it is basically it's just whatever color your eyes are on the opposite of the color chart those are the colors that are going to really flatter your skin tone your eye your eye color etc and so for me I, I have green eyes a lot of the times on camera they pull really blue but i mean here's blue nails they're green i don't know why they look blue on camera sometimes in real life they look blue too i don't have an explanation nevertheless um what I like to do is also, side note, I take my bronzer down the sides of my nose and into my eyebrow, just like that, create straight lines to look a little more snatched. But anyways, um, eye color or shades that are pretty for green eyes are things like red, plum, orangey, rusty tone browns. Uh, really like really warm tones, just look good and make the eyes pop. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, if you're going to have a different color eye shade, go look and see what color will look good on you. I'm going to take this Charlotte Darling Eyes Palette. I use this all the time for this shade. If you ever want to know what my inner corner highlight is, it is this shade in the Charlotte, um, Easy Eye Palette for a Charlotte Darling look. She has the world's longest names. And I'm going to use these two shades right here, these two in shades, more so this one than anything. Um, and just warm up the outer portion of my eye but barely at all because i just want a little bit of definition and i'm going to do it with my eye open um because if you do it with your eye open you can see exactly where that crease is and then just add the definition there rather than like worrying about it everywhere so what i did for this eyes i didn't even blend it out all the way i just set that product down where i wanted it and then I'm gonna go back and blend. So if you're ever like, dang, I don't know how to do eyeshadow or I'm not very good at eyeshadow or whatever, literally just blend and blend and blend until you're like, okay, now, yeah, that looks good. Because that's pretty much the key to eyeshadow, blending. Because if it has harsh lines or it looks, I don't know, just not professional, you probably didn't blend enough. Fun fact, if you wanna blend harder, put your hand up closer to the top of it. If you wanna blend lighter, you put your hand down here 
and I just kind of drag mine out because you can always clean it up with concealer if you want but it just provides you with a little bit of definition on your eyes and then I'm going to take that inner corner highlight shade I just showed you guys pop that on the inner corner and I mean I really some people were like that's so 2016 I don't care I didn't leave it there for a reason thank you then I'm going to take MAC Costa Riche. If you know, you know. If you don't, you're done. You're so done. I have to take off my slippers. Oh. My back hurts. And I'm going to do the tightest tight line that your eyes ever saw. See what that did? When you do just a little bit of tight line, or you tight line just a little, I guess, would be a better way to say it. It automatically makes your lash line look thicker and draws the attention to your eyes. So consider this your sign to start tight lining. Then I'm going to take my Persona Cosmetics um, gel liner in the shade black and do my upper waterline. Again, same sort of deal. It just makes your waterline or your lash line look thicker, which draws the attention there looks more professional. I love the way that looks. It just looks nice. I'm going to use the Say, what is this called? This is the air set from Say. It's a acne safe. Ooh, okay. It's an acne safe talc free powder. So that's why I got it. Um, oh, I didn't know I had one of those in there. I love this little thing from Beauty Blender. This is a, I don't know what, to be honest with you, but it has a little place for your fingers or you can put it inside. It's quite literally adorable. And then you just set your face with it like you normally would and like I, I've told you guys many many times I also work it into my palm to like warm it up I wash my hands before this don't worry but ain't none of your business if I didn't anyways and I press in my t-zone right around here and just any place that I get oily but again because I didn't put foundation or like concealer on my nose you can see how seamless everything looks but um it still looks like really glowy like there's just a glow from within you know and I mean we saw my skin before so anyway we saw my skin before and we know that there was quite literally not a glow from within bless my skin's heart she's going through things um but nevertheless I set my face any area that I get a little little uh what's it called oily and you know that's that there's a lot of stuff going up in the air can you walk this powder i really don't know anyways that's that i'm going to do my brows and i'm going to do my eyelashes for my brows i'm going to be using the lottie london pencil this is completely unnecessary to doing my face so that's that i'm gonna go do this i'm going to um do my eyelashes as well I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know what mascara I'm going to use today, but it'll either be the Ilia Fullest Volume or the L'Oreal Telescopic because that's all I ever use. So, might even mix the two. Might get crazy today. I don't know. But that's what I'm going to do, and then I'll be right back. Well, guess what? I am a dirty run liar. Um, the Milani Highly Rated Lash Extensions Tubing Mascara is the one that I used. It's this one. It's new. I guess I should turn it around. It's this new Milani one. Um, they sent it to me and it's a tubing mascara. These eyelashes are going through something, so don't judge them, please. These eyelashes, however, are not. They're not going through something. They're doing amazing. These, like, whatever. Anyways, moral of the story, um, I used this mascara and I really like it. It built up nicely. I was going to use the Elia. I didn't. Whatever. So now I'm going to take my lip oil off my lips. I don't know what to use because I don't have a tissue over here. Also, I should have mentioned this earlier, but I didn't. Um, Huda Beauty sent me this PR package. First of all, this is the literal cutest like makeup bag ever. And they sent it like full of all kinds of goodies. I love Huda. Um, Mona, her sister, follows me on TikTok. I, I'm unwell because of that. And anyway, they came out with these new concealers and they look so good. Look at the... Uh, the applicator of these. It's supposed to be like a really glowy, dewy, hydrating concealer. Need I say more? I would probably live, breathe, die, and love for it. Um, and they sent me the bronzers as well. So then they have the bronzer in the shade Tan Light. 
and then medium. But I don't know about that. Oh, it's really soft. It looks pretty, actually. Maybe I should try it. Okay, I'll try it. Oh, no. I just dug my fingernail into it. That's annoying, actually. Um, I'm gonna use, uh, excuse me, the same brush I did use earlier, and then I promise we'll get back to doing my lips, but I forgot about this, and it was sitting over here. Okay, I guess I should have used it before I did, like, anything else, because I can't, I can't really tell that big of a difference, so it needs to be worn alone. Pretend like I never tried that. Okay, thank you. Okay, for lips, I'm probably going to use this one. This is the Makeup Forever Anywhere Caffeine, um lip liner and I'm just going to line my lips how I normally would this is such a good shade if you don't have this shade I'm usually like a you know you can go to the drugstore and get a really good lip liner but this specific shade is wonderful also the way that I line my lips is very like particular and I talk about it in a lot of my videos where I show my favorite lip combo so go watch that but basically it's it's the very similar to Mary Phillips technique if you have ever seen it before. She's Kendall Jenner and like Kylie no not Kylie. Haley Bieber's makeup artist and stuff. And the thing that's gonna make the biggest difference is focusing on your outer corner. You know? Because a lot of people just go straight down. But you don't want to do that. Look at it from all the angles, you know? So I just line my lips with that. And then I'm going to go in with my lip oil. And this is the shade. Perfect. Shoo, this smells so good. For me, it's just like the, like, I love the formula. It's my formula. So obviously I love it. But it's the way that, like, you guys saw, like, you literally saw what my lips look like before. And then I put this over top, and every line, every creep, every crease, crease, trace, creep, um, whatever. Anyway, it smooths out everything on your lips, basically. And just makes them look really dewy and hydrated and stunning and amazing and wonderful. Like, look at that. Amazing. All right? You guys, that is, that is it, okay? I know that we've been here for a minute. We've been here for a hot minute but nevertheless that's it that is my if I want a little bit more coverage makeup routine if my skin's going through it if she's um acting unruly foolish unkind rude etc that's the makeup routine that I go for and I'm going to be honest with you a lot of the times I will do my makeup like obviously to film but I will do my makeup if my skin's feeling that sort of way to not pick at my skin um to just help it everything that I use as far as like base products are all acne safe non-comedogenic etc um, I use the app Acne Safe to figure that out, and I go and copy and paste the ingredient list in there so I can make sure that there is no comedogenic um, ingredients. And I also try to stay away from um, essential oils, flower oils, that sort of thing, because my skin is so sensitive, and my hormones, gut, everything plays a role in that. But that's a whole nother story, a whole different video for a whole nother day. But anyways, that is today's video and that is the look for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe before you leave. Everything, as always, will be linked down below in the description box. I have all of the affiliate links down there, which helps me out whenever you purchase from there. No joke, like literally it's my job. So purchase up, you know what I'm saying? Um, anyways, all the links will be down there. If you have any questions, feel free to comment and I'll get back to you on those. And if you have any tips, tricks, comments, concerns, etc., leave those also in the comments. If you're like, hey, I think that you would like this foundation, or I found out this is acne safe, or you know, whatever, let a girl, let a girl know. Let a girl know. You know what I'm saying? But these are my ride or die tried and true products that I absolutely live, breathe, die, and love, love all of them, you know? So that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you have a fabulous day.